everyone. This is Elizabeth. Thank you for joining me on this Halloween day. It's October 31st, 2021, and this is our last of the card series. As you can see, I'm drawing a bat, and my inspiration is an image I pull off of Pinterest. The links are in the description. Um, because I'm drawing and painting in this image, I thought I would share a little information about bats and why they're associated with Halloween. So, the um, one article I read, I do have it linked down below if you actually want to read it word for word, which is fine. I just took little snippets right out of there for you. Um, there are only three species of bats that feed on blood. The other 1,300 species feed on bugs, rodents, and nectar. Vampire bats are what got the whole group of bats their connection to Halloween. And in 1897, Bram Stoker's Dracula showed vampires transforming into bats, and this further solidified bats were vampires. And another bad rap that they get is their association to witches. They say that witches um, worshipped horned figures with wings. And they're thinking maybe they're bats because some bats do have super pointy ears. And it's said that witches would use bats' blood to make their flying potions. Very interesting. So let's... <laughs> I've got some fun facts for you. Some are fun and some are kind of disturbing. And by disturbing, one fact I found out is that more than half the bat population in the U.S. is severely declining or is already marked on the endangered species list. That's pretty sad with... Um, knowing that there's so many bat types out there, over 1,300 species, and over half of them are endangered. So if you see a bat and they freak you out, just turn <laughs> and walk away. <laughs> just walk away. Um, and uh, so here's some more facts. Bats are not blind and actually see very well. Their echolocation helps them um, feed at night and it's their echolocation that attracts them to your hair because your little strands of hair blowing in the wind they can sense that and they think it might be a bug so they head for your <laughs> locks of hair did you know that less than one percent of bats are infected with rabies Debunking the myth that all bats carry the disease. Pretty cool. But you still want to be safe when out in nature and stuff. You don't want to disturb a bat or touch them or anything. Just like any other wild animal. Some think that bats and mice are related. But bats are more related to humans than to mice. And bats are the only mammal... That can sustain flight. I did not know that. <laughs> and speaking of their flight, bats can fly at speeds of 60 miles per hour. That's faster than Grandpa in the Hammer Lane. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Bats can find food in total darkness which we kind of knew by their echolocation and everything, but they don't need one speck of light to catch something. They can eat up to 1,200 mosquitoes in an hour. Isn't that insane? So if you have a huge mosquito population, hire a bat <laughs> to help you dwindle them down. Some bats hibernate in the cold months in caves. Baby bats are called pups and most bats only have one pup a year. 
that's kind of crazy. No wonder it's easy for them to go extinct if they're only having one baby a year. Bat poo, also known as guano, is super rich fertilizer. So when you've got your bats helping you take down the mosquitoes, collect their poo, and fertilize your garden. <laughs> Fun little tip there. The flying fox, my favorite bat species, is the largest bat family and or uh largest species so it's the biggest out of all of them and it lives on islands in the south pacific uh, they're really beautiful if you haven't seen a flying fox i will try and post a picture at the end they're gorgeous bats pallid p-a-l-l-i-d pallid bats actually eat scorpions isn't that crazy Ugh. i can't imagine eating a scorpion that's just yucky and the bracken bat cave in texas has the world's largest bat colony isn't that insane everything in texas is bigger they say why not have the biggest bat cave too right <laughs> Well, I hope you found this fun and interesting today. Um, sorry, I don't have a more exciting card for you, but I was 30 days of creating Halloween and fall cards. I got stumped. I was actually stumped. But uh, if this inspires you to do a little bit of research and you want to share it, go ahead and post it in our group, Chat with Sassy's Crafty Friends, or um, if it, you're inspired to create something, maybe you want to try a little sketch or a drawing. You know, we're not judgy. You can post your images on our in our group too. Or you can hashtag chat with sassy on Instagram and Facebook. I'd love to see what you are creating. I thank you so much for joining me. And we will see you next time right here on the channel. Bye bye everyone.